Dog, and I have my good friend here, Dan Crum, and he is going to give you all of his tips and tricks about how he collected memorabilia over the years. Thank you, Tam. It's a pleasure to be here. Me and Tam go way back from when I first hired her at a job that I was at. I hired her right on the spot. That's how highly I think of her. And um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my hobby. Well, as Tam said, I've collected entertainment memorabilia, movie memorabilia for years since I was a child. And I just want to share a little bit with you all about what is able to be collected out there, the different aspects that you can get into, what I've done through the years where you can find these things, and just touch on a little bit about that because I get questions when people find out that I've been doing this for quite a while. Um, there's just a myriad of items that are available for collecting. What I'm going to start out with is a poster by a very famous person in our history who became President of the United States, Ronald Reagan. And this film he did with Shirley Temple way back in 1949. And I came across this, I think, at a flea market some years back. This is what they call an insert. It's 14 by 36. And they used to put these sometimes out in front of the theater, sometimes in the lobbies. But what's nice about them is they're kind of a good size to where people were able to store these quite easily. They didn't fold up. Um, so many creases as some of the larger posters do and they have survived quite well through the years. So this one is in fairly good shape and um, it just is a good example of how art was used in the graphics and design and even though it was a black and white film they colored the pictures to show in the theaters and make it seem real to life and so this is a very nice example of an insert poster which is 14 by 36. Also what they would display in the lobbies are what they call lobby cards. Now these are 11 by 14 basically photographs but it also has the titles of the films on them as well. This one is Shirley MacLaine's first film that she did called The Trouble with Harry. It was an Alfred Hitchcock film and it's interesting to see her now since we've seen her all through the years over a 50 year long career and um, it's one of my favorites that I've had and again I picked this up very reasonably priced years ago at either a flea market or a garage sale or somewhere where someone was pulling things out of old closets and and different areas of their homes and thinking well I don't need that anymore so let's let's try to sell it and that's sort of my best way to find good bargains on some of these items. Internet sites are great, but sometimes prices are, you know, just astronomical and you kind of have to shop around and, you know, take a look at different sites and if you have a specific item in mind and um, really, you know, it's just fun browsing. You don't have to get into every aspect of collecting, but I sort of have because I just found it interesting to find out what all the studios did to publicize some of their movies and some of their biggest stars. Now when a film would come out, a lot of times if it was based on a popular novel, they would do what they call movie edition books. Now these books would have covers with the stars in the film and then also photographs inside. And these also are very reasonably priced and you know somewhat easier to get because people tended to hang on to books and they would be on people's shelves for years and so it wasn't quite as disposable as a poster say for example or a photograph so I find these very interesting to collect and can usually find them out and about antique shops um, whatnot shops etc and they're they're generally inexpensive depending on the book and depending on the star other items that have been popular have been produced on important anniversaries of films such as this plate, The Wizard of Oz. And this was the first in a series of plates for The Wizard of Oz and they were numbered um, and stamped and talks about the limited edition nature on the back. So these have become very popular, although in a little bit of a different category than original items that you would find 
um, online or at flea markets, thrift shops, etc., antique shops. Another one of my favorite items that I have in my collection from a more modern era is this John Wayne doll of all things. And he's got his usual outfit on that he wore in many, many films with hat and all decked up. And a lot of people comment on this when I have it displayed in my home. Um, which is another aspect that is quite fun. Um, posters and movie memorabilia and entertainment and memorabilia in general is becoming very popular decorative items in people's homes and I'll go into offices many times and see movie posters or photographs and it's just fun to kind of relive our upbringing. A lot of our memories are linked to the entertainment industry and movies and television etc. You can also get started in very inexpensive ways. What was an item that I first started with because you could pick these up for just you know a dollar or two dollars are sheet music from films and nearly every film even if it wasn't a musical would have the theme song, even if it was just orchestral. Um, and they would produce these in, in large quantities. And a lot of people saved quite a bit of their sheet music through the years. So this item here is from a film in the 40s with Ray Milan and Marlene Dietrich called Golden Earrings. And um, it's particularly fun if you play an instrument and can pick it up and play the music from the film that you just saw. So it really has a big impact on people. I know I volunteer at a couple of senior centers and they very much enjoy hearing music from films that they grew up with or remember. And it's very fulfilling to be able to go in and share some of my knowledge with them and to really have an experience that you could get nowhere else. There are just a myriad of possibilities that can get you into collecting movie and entertainment memorabilia at reasonable prices and I can say that through the years many of these items have tripled, quadrupled in price so they are a good investment as well but I think you'll enjoy getting involved just for the sheer fun of looking back on some of your memories and enjoying them. Thank you very much for spending this time with me. Hope to see you in the future. Thank you so much for watching and thank you Dan so much for being here with us today and I'm looking forward to putting him on more film. He's great on camera and he has so much to share with us about memorabilia. You have yourself a great day. I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help for my help cometh from the Lord and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Thank you. And if you'd like any further information or have any questions, um, please feel free to email me at moviememory at aol.com. That's M-O-V-I-E-M-E-M-O-R-Y at aol.com. Thanks and have a great day.